Today is the 16th of April 2019. A very good afternoon. This is Lunchtime News on TV1. We are coming to you live and direct from the News First studios here in Colombo. Bringing you the news, I'm Tarush Kumar Singh. And just before we start off, let's take a look at your headlines this afternoon. Four Sri Lankans arrested by UK authorities at the Luton Airport in England released. Four murders reported during the past 24 hours. Six people killed in accidents. News first, Aurudu Dhania gets underway in Diganava, Kotavahira. Major fire engulfs the medieval cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris. Taking a look at your lead story this afternoon, Satko Raleta Avrudu, News First Avrudu Dane, is currently being held at the Sri Devamitha grounds in Diganava, Kotavahera, Kurunagala. Diganava is a city that has a long heritage of ancient agriculture. The News First Avrudu Dane, which gives priority to the traditions and the ancient games in our culture, this time selected this ancient city. <laughs> आरंभ <laughs> Mahaulala started off with the cycle race this morning. Around 30 events have been included in the list of Avrudu games which includes Tug of War, Kottapura and Kanamut Bindima. A volleyball tournament has also been organized in line with these events. Several events have been organized for the children where they can engage in activities with the kids first children. Aurudu Kumara and Kumaria will be chosen and will be given gifts at the Aurudu Dane. A musical show with the band Galaxies with the participation of Lahiru Pereira, Rukman Nasita, Pradeep Rangana, Rooney and with several other popular artists will be held following the Bak Mahaulela. More headline making news. During the past 24 hours, six people including two women were killed in accidents in various parts of the country. The police stated that accidents were reported from Kolonna, Amlipitiya, Varakagoda, Ruanwella and Mavatagama. Police stated that a couple were killed in an accident that took place in Suryakand, the Kolonnava, Amlipitiya. Another person died in an accident in the 100th mile post in Amlipitiya. The accident occurred when a motorcycle collided with a bicycle. The person who was travelling in the bicycle has died from the accident. A vehicle that was travelling from Bandaragama to Kasbava crashed onto a culvert after it veered off the road. A couple was injured in the accident. They are currently receiving treatment at the Bandarwell Hospital. Police suspect the accident had taken place when the driver of the vehicle had fallen asleep. Taking a look at more on your headline making news, a number of murders were reported from various parts of the country yesterday. A couple had been murdered using sharp weapons last night in Eke Alla area in Mathala. Police suspect a personal dispute was the cause for it. The deceased were 53 and 51 years old, parents of two. The post-mortem will be carried out today and the Galvela police are conducting further investigations into the incident. A 
A dispute between two groups in a gambling place in Ipologama, Andradapura killed one person and injured 22 other people. The deceased was a 62-year-old father of one. The injured were taken to the Andradapura Teaching Hospital for treatment. Investigations are underway. A woman was murdered in Jayantipura Hingaragoda yesterday. A police suspect that the husband has carried out the murder due to a family dispute. The deceased was a 25-year-old mother of one. The spouse of the deceased has been arrested. Now, President Maitripala Sirisena accompanied by several others flew to Hyderabad, India this morning. Duty manager at the Bandar Naik International Airport said the president and his delegation left for India abroad, Sri Lankan Airlines Flight UL-177. Now, an additional team of police officials have been appointed to carry out initial investigations into the complaints received to the Presidential Commission relating to bribery and corruption in state institutions over the past four years. A spokesperson attached to the commission said six additional police officers were appointed for this task following a request made to the IGP. Accordingly, a team of 18 officials will be carrying out preliminary investigations into the complaints received. Further commission hearings will begin on the 22nd of this month. The spokesperson also said that several ministers from the ruling party and ministry secretaries are scheduled to be called for hearings at the commission. More headline making news. Four Sri Lankans who were arrested by UK authorities at the Luton Airport in England have been released. The four Sri Lankans were arrested last Friday at the Luton Airport in England by the Metropolitan Police on suspicion of belonging to a banned extremist organization. It is believed the four men who are Tamil nationals had arrived in Britain seeking asylum. However, they were released today free of any charges. They are, however, being investigated by the UK authorities. Now, operations along the Kalani Valley and coastal tracks have come to a standstill following the derailment of two trains this morning. A train travelling from Avisavela to Colombo Fort has derailed between Nugegoda and Narahen Pitta. The railway control room said the derailment occurred this morning. Train travel along the railway line plying from Avisavela to Colombo has been limited to Nugegoda. Steps are underway to restore rail travel to normalcy. Meanwhile, the Galukumari Express train, which was flying from Beliatta to Maradana, has derailed close to the Gaul railway station. According to the railway control room, steps are underway to restore rail travel to normalcy. The auspicious time for oil anointment in this Singhala Tamil New Year falls at 7.40 a.m. tomorrow. According to astrology, the oil anointment tradition should be observed while dressed in emerald green color attire with neem leaves under your feet facing the east. Leaving for occupations in this new year falls on Thursday the 18th at 4.52 a.m. Astrology suggests that wearing green color attire, having milk rice mixed with jaggery and another sweet for breakfast, leaving for occupations facing the east is appropriate. Taking a look at your weather update this afternoon, according to the Department of Meteorology, there is a high possibility for afternoon thunder showers with severe lightning over most parts of the island during the next few days. The department predicts severe lightning in Sabaragamua, central, southern, Uwa, western, northwestern and north central provinces and in the Mana and Baunia districts. General public is requested to take adequate precautions to minimize damages caused by lightning activity and temporarily strong gusty winds during thunder showers. Meanwhile, the Med Department also said many parts of the island will experience an extreme heat weather condition. According to the department, North Central Province, Mana, Vaunia, Mulatiu, Trincomalee and Ampara districts will experience the heat weather condition. <laughs> 